people in the common threads don't know science. That's why I made this common thread science. Hey everybody, did you know that there are people online that believe the moon landings and all the photos of the earth are fake? And they support this idea in the comment threads by claiming that travel to the moon is not possible and having satellites in deep space taking photos is not possible because rockets don't work in space. They claim, one, rockets require oxygen to burn fuel, and since there's no air in space, combustion is not possible. And two, rockets, like airplane propellers, need air to push off of in order to go forward, and without air, they cannot move. The rebuttal to the first claim is simple. While it is true that rockets need oxygen in order for the fuel to combust, rockets solve this issue by containing a supply of oxygen within their structure and do not rely upon oxygen from the atmosphere for combustion. Here is a diagram of a most basic rocket. The liquid fuel rocket has a chamber for the liquid fuel, another for the liquid oxidizer, and a combustion chamber where the two are combined and ignited. In a solid fuel rocket, the fuel and oxidizer are held in the same chamber throughout. Side note, even if rockets did require atmospheric oxygen to initiate combustion, which they do not, the vast majority of rockets begin their journey on Earth, in the atmosphere, and thus could propel themselves into space using the rocket denier's own standard. But I digress. So if anyone asks you how rockets burn in space, Tell them by bringing the oxygen with them. The second claim is that rockets need a medium, like air, to push off of. This is due to the fact that rockets' movement is governed by Newton's third law of motion. Newton's third law of motion reads, To every action there is always opposed an equal reaction, or the mutual actions of two bodies upon each other are always equal and directed to contrary parts. Casually stated as, to every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This means when you exert a force on an object in one direction, that object exerts an equal force upon you in the opposite direction. Swimmers going through water exert a backward force on the water, and the water pushes them forward. Planes, helicopters, and birds exert force on the air, and the air pushes them up and in whatever direction they wish to travel. But rockets in space aren't in a medium like air or water, and thus have nothing to push off of, is the claim. And again, the answer is, rockets contain their own medium to push on, in the form of the fuel they combust. When the fuel is ignited in the combustion chamber, it creates a tremendous amount of pressure as the fuel converts into gas and rapidly expands. The rocket provides only one path of escape for the expanding gases, and as those gases are forced out of one end of the rocket, they in turn exert a force on the rocket in the opposite direction. While this is straightforward, some have continued to express a need for an exterior medium to be involved. So I propose this thought experiment. Picture a person on roller skates facing a secured brick wall. If they push on the brick wall, they roll away from it. The force on the wall is causing the motion, not the air surrounding them. Unsecure the wall and push it again. The wall falls in one direction, the person rolls in the other. Break the wall into sections and push each section away. They go in one direction, the person rolls in the other. Reduce the wall to bricks and smaller and smaller pieces and it is the force exerted against the pieces that cause the motion. And the air surrounding them has not become an active mechanism. In the case of a rocket, that wall is replaced by the fuel particles being propelled at an incredibly high rate, and the medium that surrounds them is not needed. In fact, air is a hindrance to a rocket's motion. Picture that person on roller skates, pushing off the wall. But now, instead of rolling freely, there is a thin wall of paper in their path. There's not much resistance there, but there's enough to slow them down the slightest bit. Air acts in the same manner by providing the tiniest bit of slowing force, known as air resistance, or drag, on whatever is passing through it. In space, however, where particles are so few and far between that it is considered a vacuum, no air resistance is encountered, and rockets and any other objects will move more freely than they would on Earth. Because according to Newton's first law of motion, 
a rocket such as this will remain in motion unless acted upon by another force. So not only can rockets work in space, my friends, they work best in space. That's all for this episode of Comment Thread Science. If you find someone making this claim in a comment thread or in a conversation, please send them a link to this video and hopefully they will come away knowing a little more than they did before. Take care, everybody. Yes, science!